Well, good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing all today? Hope everybody had a good evening yesterday, last night. Hope everyone had a good day yesterday. She's a little cooler out here today. Yesterday was like plus four, plus five. Uh, yep, the seats is dusty. Let's see if this sucker is going to start okay. Just starting up all the equipment here. And uh, I'm going to start putting stuff away. We decided we're not going to grind any more grain. That's that one. Kind of for two reasons. One, I don't want to have too much ground that we don't get it all used up. And this much I know I'll get it all used up. Two, as the grain sits, after you crack it or crush it down, it will lose protein values as it sits until you get it used. So that's the reasoning for waiting until we grind more. If we run out of that stuff that's in that little dump trailer, then... I can always grind more at a later date. It's not the end of the world. Get this sucker started. It's a cold start on him. Oh, come on. My goodness. And now for the tractor. Hopefully he starts and I don't have to plug him in for a while. We got a lot of grain to clean up that's on the ground too. No glow plugs in this tractor. Ho 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 ho. For a minute there, I didn't think he was going to go. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you back in a little bit once we start moving stuff around. Alrighty, guys, well, if you can make it out, that's all the grain that we just scraped up off the friggin' ground. Well, chaff, uh, hulls, that kind of stuff. Now we got put the mill away and uh, then get the little pencil auger put away back in the barn. So yeah, here shortly we'll have her all cleaned up as good as we're gonna do her. And what's left on the ground now, the birds can have, how's that sound? Uh, so get this sucker backed up and put away and then we'll be done for now with this thing. Right back where he was. Doop, right there. Okay, time to unhook. We'll talk to you later. There. We're all cleaned up, things are put away. Grain's in the trailer. And see guys, it's really low. Like it's only waist high on me, so even CP should be able to, oh, back up. 
should be able to get the grain. You some bitch, you put snow down my back. You some bitch. Oh, just you wait. Payback's a bitch, baby. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, we just uh, just like that. And you just yeah, sure. Put the tarp back on. Just to hold that little strap right there is all it'll take to hold the tarp on. So the birds aren't in it and the snow's not going in it. So should be good. This is how when we were feeding pellets to a bunch of calves, we would just grab the pellets like this and pail them right out of the trailer and get three ton at a time. And so now I don't got nothing in here, do I? No, we're gonna go out and check on the cows in the pasture. The grain that I was in the bucket, I took it to the cut feed pile, dumped it in the cut feed pile, stirred it up a little bit at the cut feed pile, then grabbed a big old bucket load of it and gave it to them cows in that corral over there. And I don't know, that grain might have been equaled, what, four pails? Yeah. Maybe four or five gallon pails. So, anyway, we're going to go check on cows in the, in the pasture, so we'll come back to you guys in a bit. Hi right, guys. So we're in the shop here, pressing a bunch of this steel for these crowd panels, and that's gen the general layout right there. So, two and seven eighths top rail. Two and seven eighths on the end, squashed at the top, open on the bottom. That piece there is four feet long. Two and seven eighths at the six foot point from either end. Uh, that is saddled in or cope welded. So it's saddled at that end, saddled at this end. And this is four foot 10. Same as that one there. He's four foot 10 and then four feet on the end over there. And then there's another piece that goes in opposite direction, which is the foot or the base. And that, that one is five feet on these uh, crowd panels. So yeah, we, just, uh, we got all of these ones pressed out. Uh, not quite half done pressing these six footers. We got that stack to do yet. It's 11 feet in between on the inside right there. And all of the 11 footers are all pressed out. So we're just working at pressing all these six footers. So I'll bring you guys back here uh, in a little bit. This is our air over hydraulic. Princess Autos. It's a 30 ton. And it works okay, but on that two and seven, it does take a lot more pressure. And I think my pump is starting to get a little weak, but no biggie. We'll figure, we'll get through her and get her done. We'll bring you guys back in a bit. Talk to you then. Alrighty. Well, we got that stack all done up, them six footers. Uh, Tristan cut these and then I told him, use up. If you've got two foot pieces, use them up and make them work. So he splice welded them, a couple of them. So I got to run a grinder over this a little bit just to clean it up a little more. Uh, there's spatter and stuff on here. Bust that spatter off just so somebody doesn't scratch themselves on it. I'm not too worried about the cows. I'm more worried about the person with stuff like this. So we got to clean that up a little bit and they'll be ready to go. Just like these ones. He doesn't have to be cleaned up 100% smooth, but get it get it so that it is not as rough as a raw weld would be right and so and then we can start tacking some of these things together i gotta drag some of that two and seven from out there in the shop and make them 24 foot too long 
And yeah, they're basically 24 foot panels, but they're actually 24 foot two, 24 feet two inches. So, anyways, back in a bit, guys. Alrighty. I'll be honest with you guys. What takes the longest of the way we build our panels is getting all the steel prepped. Like, cutting all this steel, pressing all our ends that need to be pressed, coping all our ends like here that need to be coped. And that one I've got it twisted a little bit. I didn't get it right, but that's okay. It'll still work the way it is. Um, that one's pretty good right there. So, but that gives you the gist. I gotta put two more bars in here. And we gotta get our bars in the end right here. I had a big, long, lengthy discussion with the guy that's getting them. And initially, he wanted the bottom ones right here. Like only seven inches, the bottom two only. Seven inches apart. And then the others, whatever the space is. And I said, well, shit, if I make this only seven inches apart and keep it at a total five bar from the very top all the way through, that's going to make this gap and that gap and that gap a lot bigger. Unless I throw an extra bar in and set everything at basically eight and a half, nine inches. And he didn't want to pay the extra 30 bucks to have that extra bar put in. And literally that's just the cost of the steel and nothing else. So, uh, he said go ahead and build them the way we normally build them all the time. So that's what we're doing. So yeah, yee-ha, right? Anyways, that's what this one, you get the gist of how it's gonna look now. The tractor's running, cause I gotta feed the bulls some cut feed. And Tristan is here. And I don't know if he's going to be in the shop here tomorrow to do welding or not. But it's time to get in the shop and get some stuff done, right? And so, tomorrow, I am on the road for the first time in two weeks. You can see out there, the truck is hooked to the trailer and ready to go. So, yeah, tomorrow we got to run to Saskatoon, pick up a load of steel take it to Lost Mountain Provincial Park and then on Wednesday we're loading the trailer Wednesday afternoon and Thursday we're on the road up to Saskatoon loaded and then from Saskatoon down to York and loaded so that'll be a good day but anyway let's go feed some bulls talk to you guys then there we just scraped all the old stuff out of here and uh, brought him some fresh stuff. There's the tractor. So that's one bucket load of feed right here. And it's spread out. And this will last these guys all of a week. So she's getting dark. The sun's gone down. So yeah, should be good. CP don't have to worry about it tomorrow. There you Tris. So we'll get the hell the tractor the hell out of the road and just to close the gate for me. That'd be awesome. Uh-huh. He's got the gate. CP came to check on her sexy chickens. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't have to worry about feeding nothing tomorrow now. Horses got a bale today, the cows out in the pasture got all filled up today. So she can just sit back and relax. Right, babe? Tomorrow you get to just sit back and relax? Yeah, maybe my boyfriend will come over. <laughs> oh, 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 you're bad. What's his name? You haven't found one yet, in other words. <laughs> Alrighty, well, give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, 
make sure you tell your friends and neighbors if you guys want to get in on this draw we got to get to 500 basically it'll be just over 500 by the time we actually do the draw but yeah we got to get to 500 before we start hammering out the questions on uh for that sweater guys so i'll let you all go and we'll catch you tomorrow fun 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 let's get her done